Look at what I got. Forged fly fishing. Invictus. Freshwater fly reel. Yeah, folks. This is what's up. Look at this little beauty. This is a switch line that I picked up from the fishing store. We talked about it in great length, exactly what I was looking for, exactly what I would be using it for, and a range of other things, other fishing conditions that it could be used for. So that was helpful. Never underestimate your local fishing shop. Some of the people that work there are just truly amazing and so helpful. Okay, I am outside one of my semi-local fishing stores. I buy so much gear from here. I buy so much fishing product from here that they give me a discount. One of the services that they offer is if you bring in your reel and your line that you've purchased, they will spool up your reel for you. So we're gonna get that done. I'm so excited with my switch line. Look at all the Spitfire fishing products here. Good, thanks, how are you? I'm so excited. <laughs> so excited. Cool machine that they use to spool up the reels. My beautiful Invictus, ready to roll. Hi everyone, welcome back to Goes to Eleven's Women's Fishing Network. After watching this clip, you should check out our brand new website, womensfishingnetwork.com, where you can see other videos from me, as well as the other hosts. You can also click on the tab button and check out the online store and find products from our amazing sponsors and lots of other goodies. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be fishing this episode, but as you've seen, what I am doing is setting up my beautiful new rod and reel combo. Um, I received this gorgeous switch rod from a really good friend of mine who owns RiverQuest Charters on the Cowichan River on Vancouver Island. You should check them out. <laughs> They're super nice people. Um, also, I was given this incredibly gorgeous Invictus reel, and um, I got to, um, sorry, I went to uh, one of the semi-local fishing shops to check out some switch lines to put on it. It's a 10 foot, 10 feet 8 inches rod, so it's the biggest um, fly rod that I've used so far and it's awesome I'm excited um, so I went to check out some weight forward lines and what I've heard about the the weight forward floating line is that the front of the line is weighted heavier than the rest of the line so if I cast it even half decently um, it sounds like the line's going to shoot out from my line guides like a guided missile. So anyways, that's my hope. We can all cross our fingers about that. Um, 
It's meant to cast large and heavy flies over long distances, large distances. So um, this just fills me with excitement. Um, I cannot wait to try this. So these are some of the flies, intruder flies. Try and get these in front of the Chinook salmon and I'd bite that. God, I'd go after that in a heartbeat. I mean, look at this. This is just insanely beautiful and so the hope is you get the fly in front of the fish enough so that you kind of annoy them into striking it. So I'm going to take my rod outside and with the line and see what kind of casting I can do with it. Okay, so I just had to move to a different section of my yard because um, without even using a double haul, I was casting probably 35 feet with the switch line. Um, and so that's super impressive. So I'm gonna head back further to probably maybe, maybe 60 feet. So I'm going to use the double follow now and see what happens. Okay, so with some more practice, I think this is just going to be absolutely deadly. Um, this is wild. It's awesome. I can't even. I had no idea there would be this significant of a difference with casting line. I'm going to see how many different areas and how many different bodies of water I can fish with this line because this is incredible. I've got a 10 foot, eight inches switch rod. This is just absolute magic. I was hoping that it was gonna be magic and it's just magic. Super stoked, super, super stoked. Okay, so it looks like I will be able to get away, got all my fishing gear. I probably won't be stopping along the way anywhere to take any ambient footage for you because I just got to get out there before the world notices that I'm gone because you know how that goes. I feel like everything's been trying to keep me from fishing for weeks now. So I gotta go. I just gotta go. Um, 
I don't have time to head to Campbell River now. I'm going to head to Nile Creek. I've heard that most people are catching fish, pink salmon in the morning. Um, evening bite hasn't been great, but you never know until you go. So wish me luck and I'll see you on the water. Beautiful little Nile Creek estuary. Can't even tell you how badly I want to fish this. Old cutthroat. High tide is a few hours away. I'm not sure if there's any salmon out front anymore. I think the last update I saw from the Nile Creek fly shop was a few days ago saying there was still some salmon around, but if I don't see any movement at all, any signs of fish, I might just go to Qualcomm Hatchery, see what's going on there. Shore fishing is a very tidal thing. Fish move in with the tide, so I'm just gonna lay down for a minute and just wait for it to happen. Okay, so another fisher showed up. So whether there's fish here or not, we're fishing. Butter casts just like butter. Okay, my camera keeps turning off. About 30 feet into my line, there is a serious abnormality in the in the line. So hopefully the um, manufacturer stands by its product because Oh, I don't know if you can see that. It's just not good. If I caught a big fish on there, it'd probably break my line. So I'm gonna have to get a hold of somebody. My line keeps getting caught on my camera holder. <laughs> so many struggles. There's seaweed on my on my hook now. <laughs> practice that double hall there. So this is a freshwater reel and freshwater line. So when I get home, I'm gonna have to rinse this all out. There's seaweed. Oh gosh, just getting caught on my phone. One other person fishing. Nice older gentleman. Come on, get off. Come on. Nope. Let's see you down there. So this reel is just stunning. It's just gorgeous. I was really excited to see how it looked in the in the water. Is that just me? Does everybody else picture their gear around water? It's exciting. It's so beautiful out here. I haven't seen any seals. 
Might mean there's a lack of fish. Got my little pink salmon fly on here. If I don't see anything soon, I might duck out of here and go to the Qualcomm River. I'm not leaving. I've decided to grind it out. I've switched to a little sea run cutthroat fly or coho fly. Whatever wants to take it fly. Still haven't seen any fish, but Fish just tried to bite my line. I should start fishing. Just wanted to show you this water. But my oh my oh my. This this rod and this reel and this line. Oh my. Defect in the line is really concerning me. This is a pretty expensive line. Like I said, I hope the manufacturer stands behind the product. Still just me and the older man, just the two of us here. Another person showed up, had a little look at the water, hung around to see if any fish were rising, and then left. It's so beautiful, I just can't bring myself to leave. I'm gonna hurry and go run somewhere else for an hour. There's no point. Well, everybody, thanks for spending time with me. Sometimes there's no fish. You know, sometimes the only thing that matches our hopes and dreams when we leave the house on our fishing adventures is the incredible beauty that is all around us. And I'm incredibly thankful. I'm thankful I got to get out today. I didn't think I would. And 
So I'm going to keep fishing for a bit, but I just wanted to take a minute to thank Rick and our sponsors for this time and the space um, that they've made available for us. And I hope that you get out and I hope that you get to have fishing adventures, even if your stuff breaks, even if life tries to stop you, I hope you get out. <laughs> so take care. See you next time.